Hi, today I'm gonna show you how to create a Mickey themed tip envelope for bellhops and mousekeeping. Now, if you're not a Mickey fan and you're not going to Disney, you can still do this just like this. You could just do the pocket without the Mickey ears and this cute little vacuum or cut out a little roll of toilet paper or something like that um, with a cute little piece of glitter card stock and have thank you across the top of the envelope to create for hotel settings of any kind. But today we're gonna to be doing more of a Mickey themed. Here's one that I created for mousekeeping which is your housekeeping service when you stay in a Walt Disney Resort Hotel. And we're also going to, right now, I have my machine all ready to go, create a tip holder for a bellhop at a Disney Resort. We got a little Disney theme going on here. And I will click into Design Space right now and I'll show you how to create your own Mickey and how I created this image. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to click into shapes and we're going to click circle and this is how we're going to make our Mickey and I'm going to actually click duplicate and we're going to arrow this down and I'm going to unlock it to try to give it that more oblong shape of the actual ear. I think that looks good and I'm gonna then duplicate that and then you're gonna use your little arrow to tilt and kind of pull that on there and make it seem more like an actual Mickey ear. Okay, I'm just eyeballing it. I think that looks pretty good. I think the ears need to come down a little bit further apart though. I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna select over it and I'm gonna click weld. And there we have our self-made Mickey. And then you can click up to save and you can always go in and reuse it for future projects. Okay, so as you can see, I created my own little Mickey right here. And over here I have my suitcase, and then this is gonna be the card that I'm gonna adhere to the front of the suitcase. And I'm going to be using a brown cardstock, a red cardstock, I'm using a glitter ink pen in silver, and then I'm using a black cardstock. And as you can see, I just typed in a suitcase, found something that was a basic image. It actually had some extra layer on top of it. I hid that in the layers panel over to the right. And then same thing with the envelope. I had to hide some pieces of it. It actually had like a card that would slide in and out of it. And I just want the basic envelope. So that's what we're gonna do. And then you're gonna go ahead and once you find the font you want and pick out whatever saying you wanna have written on top of the outside of your envelope, you can go ahead and, let's see, I've already attached mine, but to show you, I'm gonna detach it. And then you'll put it over here on your envelope. I'm gonna just have it off to the side there and show you how to center it. You're gonna go up to align after you select over your image and you're gonna click center horizontally and see how it nicely moved it over on the card for you. And now I actually want it up a little bit higher but I know what's centered. So that way I have enough room underneath to add my Mickey once this project has cut. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna hook it up to my machine and I'm going to head, go ahead and click make it. I already have my card stock already. I'm gonna use a red and black and brown sheet today. I'm using my Cricut Maker 3 with the mat today. 
And I'm just using regular cardstock. It's not um, smart material, so it's gonna cut just the same as the maker would. Okay, that simply and easily clicked out my little Mickey ear image. We're gonna do a red next. This is the actual envelope part that's gonna adhere onto the little bellhop suitcase. Slide it into the machine, hit the feed button. Gotta hit that play button to go get this party started. So usually what happens when you do a Cricut project where you have a writing and a cut, it will do the writing first and then it'll go back and cut afterward. I simply chose to just write thank you on this particular one. So now it's just kind of scanning, detecting the cutting tool, and now it's gonna cut the image, which is going to be our little envelope to adhere onto the suitcase, which I'm gonna make next. Okay, so that turned out nice. And then I'm just gonna fold the sides and the bottom to adhere onto my suitcase that I'm going to create now. So we're just gonna pop a little brown piece of cardstock on here. Okay, so we're gonna create the suitcase part of this cute little tip card for a bellhop at a Disney Resort hotel. Okay, here's my cute little cardstock suitcase. Instead of doing an overhead view, I just zoomed in a little bit just to have you see what I'm gonna do here. Now I'm just gonna use some clear gel tacky glue. And I'm going to fold the sides of the card. A lot of times these images will have um, the scoring tool score the lines for you. For whatever reason on this one, it did not. However, you may have picked an image for a little card that has those scoring marks and you'll just have to pop your scoring tool in and it'll just make a nice little ridge there for you to easily fold. So as you can see, I'm just folding. This is the front of the card and I'm just folding this little pocket like that. And then this is going to be the flap. So I'm just gonna give a little glue right there. Glue on the bottom glue in the bottom and then I'm going to fold it up and then I'm going to glue the whole back part of it. But not the lip part. And then I'm going to find the center. I'm just going to eyeball it on here and place it on the suitcase. And then I'm gonna flip it and press it down. Actually, I love this brayer. You can use it for everything. <laughs> if you have not invested in a brayer or a roller, you'll hear me use both terms interchangeably, but I absolutely love it. I use it all the time for like everything, adhering to my mat, adhering my projects together. Love my brayer. Now I'm going to glue my little Mickey onto the pocket of the thank you tip. I can't easily fold this little um, lip 
down, so I'm just gonna cut it off. I'm gonna use my like really sharp scissors. So I have a cute little suitcase with our little thank you envelope pouch and little Mickey accent. And you can just drop some cash, slide it right in there, and then whip this out and hand it to your bellhop as a nice little thank you tip. I think that's super cute. The only thing is size of the suitcase. Maybe you could make it a little bit smaller. And then here I have my Mickey mouse keeping. Thank you for the housekeeping from a Walt Disney Resort Hotel. I would suggest tipping about a dollar per person in your party. So if there's four of you, maybe tip $4 a day. And I would definitely not wait until the end of your stay if you're staying for an extended period of time because every single day you're gonna have different housekeeping staff that take care of your room. So if you wait till the end of your five day stay and leave a $20 tip or a $25 tip for housekeeping, just the housekeeper that day is going to get the tip. So that's why I usually make one for each day and in the past, I've actually put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I actually put the day so that I make sure that I got it out there on the right day and I don't forget any days and I just kind of keep track that way. I hope this was fun. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found benefit from this video. Definitely give it a like, give it a share if you really thought this was awesome and make sure you click subscribe and join my YouTube family. And if you hit the bell, you'll receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.